Today I'll be showcasing the Enhanced Firewall Services feature set that was released in version 5.2. Let's go over some key points. The Enhanced Firewall Service feature set includes a natively integrated, Sericata based IDS IPS engine that is built onto the edge. This feature is powered by NSX Security. What that means is not only do we use the same IDS IPS engine as the NSX Firewall, but we also use the same signature set, and that set has over 11,000 signatures. Along with the IDS IPS, this feature set also includes regionally hosted logging. Logs are stored in the same region as the VCO and can be viewed via the VCO. All right, let's take a look at our lab environment. For this demonstration, there are two branch sites with an edge and user at each site. One user will be acting as an attacker while the other will be the victim. The purpose of this demonstration is to show how our IDS IPS can help stop lateral movement. The victim is running a web server and the attacker is going to try and send a request with a malicious header. Now, before we configure the edge to stop this attack, let's make sure the attacker can reach and deliver the malicious payload. As you can see, we're going to be sending an HTTP request to the victim's web server. And in that request, we are setting the user agent to a malicious shellshock payload. And if this attack is successful, we should be able to see the past WD file of the victim's server. And as you can see, the attack was successful. So now let's go to the VCO and see if we can't try to stop this attack. To configure the IDS IPS, you'll want to go over to the Configure tab. You can configure it at the edge level or at the profile level. I'm going to go ahead and configure it at the profile level. Select the profile you'd wish to configure. Select the Firewall tab. Make sure that the Enhanced Firewall Services is on. Now go down to your Firewall Rules. Select a new rule, go ahead and name your rule, and for this rule I'm going to inspect all traffic. Make sure that the rule is an allow rule so it can make it past the firewall into the IDS IPS engine to be inspected. Enable the IDS IPS section of this rule. Now you could just enable the IDS if you wish to just get alerted on malicious activity. If you want to go ahead and go one step further to preventing that malicious activity, you'll want to enable the intrusion prevention system feature. And we're also going to go ahead and enable the logging so we can log this malicious activity. After that, go ahead and create the rule and save your changes. Now let's go back to the attacker machine and see if we can't do that attack again. Let's give it a couple seconds, and as you can see, the attack was unsuccessful. To take a look at these attempts, we'll look at the threat monitoring and logging. To get to the threat monitoring dashboard, make sure that you're in the monitor tab, and then click on security overview. Here you can get a quick glimpse into the threats happening around your network. You can see the total number of threats that have been detected, and the total number of threats that have been pre prevented. If you scroll down, you can see how many edges have been impacted, where the threats are coming from, and if you keep scrolling, you can see graphs that show the top threats that have been detected, the top threat origins, the top impacted edges, and the top impacted clients. Now this dashboard is showing you what's happening across your entire network. To go deeper and narrow the scope of the overview, you can click on the impacted edge list, select a single edge, and each edge has their own security overview tab. And as you can see, this edge has seen some malicious activity. So let's go over to the firewall logs and get some more detail. To get to the logs, you can go over here on the left side of the screen and click on the firewall logs, or you can go up here on the top right and click on shortcuts, and then click on view firewall logs. That'll take you to the firewall logs page, and it will also filter on that specific edge. Now, since we only want to see the malicious activity that the IDS IPS has alerted on, we want to further filter and select IDS alert and select yes, and then click apply. And here we can see the attack. We could see the action that the IDS IPS took on that attack, which was a deny. And if we scroll over, we could see what rule it has hit. And if we scroll all the way to the end, we can see the signature details, like the signature ID 
a brief description of the signature. So that exploit was using this CVE. We could see where the attack was coming from and who the attack was targeting, as well as the signature severity. And that concludes this demonstration. Thank you.